Hi, I'm Carl Winkler at Electrosonics, and in this video, I'll be giving you a detailed look at the M2R Duet Receiver. As you can see, this is a very compact unit and very rugged, yet full of comprehensive features and control. This way, you can set it up in a variety of different ways for different applications. On the outside, notice that it has two antennas for diversity reception. This is far superior to diversity using one antenna and a headphone cord. By the way, our antennas are braided steel wire with a PVC jacket and are a lot tougher than they might look. It is very rare for us to see antennas like these damaged, and we use them on a wide range of our products. Note the USB connector on the side for firmware updates. As we add features in the future, these updates can be done in the field using wireless designer software. The belt clip is a heavy spring steel unit that is well tested on our LMB and LT belt pack transmitters. On the top, you'll see a slightly recessed headphone jack, link indicator LED, two-way infrared port, and the sleek volume knob. Like with most IFB and IEM receiver units, the volume knob is also the on-off switch. Let's turn it on. Now we can see that the display is a large, high-resolution color LCD that is easy to read in any light. On the home screen, there is an indicator for RF level, remaining battery, and audio level. When the correct signal is present, the blue link light on the top is lit. Pushing the menu select button reveals the menus. First up is scan, which will give us a picture of the local RF environment. This information can then be used to select open frequencies. Once it has completed a cycle, pressing the menu select button again will pause the scan. Using the arrows allows you to roughly tune the receiver by moving the cursor to an open spot between TV channels or other RF sources. Pressing menu select again gives you a zoomed in view and the ability to finely tune the receiver. Pressing the back button brings you to a page asking if you want to keep your newly selected frequency or to revert to where it was set before. The scan information can now be brought into the transmitter and also wireless designer by going into the M2T menu and selecting Sync Scan, then using the IR Sync. As you can see, this information is now in both the transmitter and wireless designer software, allowing you to consider this data when doing an overall frequency coordination. Next in the menu is FlexList a powerful feature in the Duet system. In short, it allows you to easily add profiles to a list, update them if frequencies have changed, delete them, or clear the list. Then, when the receiver is in the flex list mode, a monitor engineer or location mixer can quickly and easily listen to any of the mixes on site by selecting from the list by name. The frequency screen allows you to manually set your operating frequency in megahertz and kilohertz. The M2 system is tunable in 25 kilohertz steps across over 6,000 frequencies. The volume balance screen displays the volume from 0 to 100 and allows you to adjust the balance to favor the left, the right, or to be perfectly centered. The mixer screen is where you can decide if you want a stereo mix, a mono mix from either audio channel 1, channel 2, or both, or custom, which allows you to vary the width of the signal and how much level from each channel. The limiter page is one of the most important to understand because this is where you can set up your desired dynamics and volume range. The default setting is linear and should provide good volume and unrestrained dynamics with efficient earphones or very efficient headphones. However, if you are using inefficient earphones or headphones or need additional volume, you can use the gain setting to boost the audio by up to 18 dB in 3 dB steps. Be aware, the headphone amp in this receiver will get very loud. Please be responsible. Next is the setting for limiter threshold in 3 dB increments. This allows you to tailor the overall dynamic range by limiting the maximum volume that can be achieved. The HF boost screen allows you to add a high frequency shelf either at 5 kHz or 7 kHz and with up to 9 dB of gain. The meter mode screen allows you to select either pre-mix or post-mix metering. Really where this matters is if you are using a mix mode like mono channel 1 but want the audio meters on the home screen to show channel 1 audio on both channels. Clear scan data is just as it sounds, in case you want to start over with a fresh RF scan. The backlight screen gives you options for the LCD backlight, whether to go dark after 30 seconds following the last button push, after 5 minutes, or never. The battery type screen lets you indicate the type of AA batteries you are using, 
so that the remaining battery meter on the home screen is as accurate as possible. The lock-unlock screen is just as it sounds. You may want to lock out the front panel controls so that the talent doesn't inadvertently change a setting. The About M2R screen shows you the unit's serial number and the versions for both FPGA and main firmware. Finally, the default screen gives you the opportunity to reset all settings to the factory default state. This can be helpful if the unit will be used with a new client, such as in a rental situation. As you can see, the M2R Duet receiver is loaded with tons of power and flexibility for a wide range of users. For more information on this or any Electrosonics product, please visit Electrosonics.com. This is one of many videos on this exciting product. Please be sure to check them all out. I'm Carl Winkler from Electrosonics. Thanks for watching.